So, so Kenyon, when you got to this team, you was already kind of stacked. We had Melo here, we had Felton, we had Jason Kidd. So what did you feel like you brought um, to the team? And how do you feel like, why do you feel like you fit so well with the team? Because you fit really seamlessly with everybody. Yeah, I like to make up for the squad first and foremost before I got there. Um, I looked at the bigs we had, uh, as far as Amari, yeah. Rasheed, Kurt, Tyson as well. I thought I bought some of the same similar attributes as Tyson. Mm. You know, defensive minded, but total team guy, man. Like, I I don't need the ball in these shots to affect the game. I never have. Right. You know, so when you have that mentality, you're able to come in and you get it where you get it. You get in where you finish. Some days you might score 15, 20. Some days you might score eight. So you got to know that, you know, but, but my impact on the game had nothing to do with scoring. So yeah, I was able to come in and fit in right away with them guys. Like some guys, if you bring a guy in and he needs to average 17, then it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Because he needs the ball. And then he would, I, I didn't come in early. I came in a little late. They already had certain things established. But for me to come in and then certain guys to go down and me to come in and start a few games and fill some gaps and all that, that I just, I know how to play the game of basketball. And my IQ with the situation and knowing the game allowed me to fit in, I think. Yeah, absolutely, man. I really like the makeup of the team, especially those the big men. A lot of the big men on that squad, they, they had the same similar attributes, like you just said, uh, offense, defense, and all of them kind of just knew their role and knew where to fit in what they quality what they vets, man. We had quality exactly. vets that year. And you had yeah, to I think that's, that yeah, that's yeah, yeah. And I and I I hadn't missed a step in that regard. You know, I could still move my feet, still run up and down with the best of them, still could jump with the best of them. And those guys who I was on the team with respected my game, respected what I was bringing to the table. And I had a head coach that allowed me to be me. Absolutely. Yeah, speaking of head coach too, because we all see that Mike Woodson, um, he's going, he is a candidate to be a next coach. Uh, how do you feel he did with that squad? Like, what do you think he brought to the table to have everybody just mess so seamlessly? He, he he was able to. I like Woody personally. You know, that was my first time being around him. I seen him on the bench, like other places and all that. But that was my first time being around him and able to talk basketball with him. And he allowed us to be men first and foremost. He mm -hmm. held us accountable. He didn't from mellow to down, from mellow to Chris Copeland. Mm -hmm. Everybody was held. Everybody was held accountable, which I love. You know, not every coach can do that. Not every coach can de demand that respect. I mean, Woody did that. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I heard Felton said the same thing when we interviewed yeah. him. He spoke very highly of Woody. And yeah. the way he got it, J.R. Smith, too, he got him to six man a year. You, you figured he could be yeah, a- honest conversations. Honest conversations, man. Tell him, sitting J.R. tell him down, this is what you can be in if you went about it this way. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and it wasn't his fault we lost Indiana, man. Uh, it was all on us. The game plan was there. Everything was in place. So we just didn't get it done. You know, I, I we just it. didn't get it. We just didn't get it done as a unit. You know, I, I was it. right in it. I played a lot of minutes. I played good minutes. We just didn't get it done. You know, not the fault Mike Woodson had us prepared. He, he knew what how to how to go about it. And nothing but the highest respect for Woody. And I hope he gets another opportunity. I hope he's a real, real candidate for this job, man. Because he deserves it. Because uh, the exit wasn't the best. No, it wasn't. It wasn't his fault. It definitely yeah, wasn't. Yeah, it was. It was. It was treated very poorly, um, in my opinion, because uh, it wasn't his fault. We had a lot of injuries that year. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of injuries. Guys are in and out, and don't get the opportunity to uh, at least get another year deal and see how it go from there. Yeah, that was weird to Phil to kind of just not even give him the shot, but you know, Phil had his old plan from the jump. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Fail, a fail oh, plan. And it wasn't. Listen, it just wasn't Woody. Saying with a lot of us, you know, look at our age, look at what we had did, and made his mind up already. Yeah, you know, and Woody deserved another shot, and I think he deserves another shot now. You know, so I, I really hope he's in real consideration, and they're and they not just using this as the Rooney rule. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> True. Ten, we'll ten candidates in the pot right now. Yeah, ten man. Everybody is in, in the pot right now, man. So we'll see, man. But I, I was a big Watson fan when he was here as well. Um, he was my guy, man, was able to get to know him off the floor as well. Man. So he's a solid dude, man. man. He honestly, uh, and if to just think the way we played, man, we got threes up. You know I'm saying we wasn't just yeah. 
a half court, throw the ball That's and true. mellow and get out of the way. That's true. Nah, we had guys that was stroking that thing. Yeah. True story. Know, Novak, deep, Copeland, you know? JR. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Check. JR, Mello, then JK, JK first still, half, JK. He did knock down. Mm -hmm. down. So Pablo Prigioni probably percentage was better than everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cope was letting him go too. Yeah, yeah. Cope, so Cope was letting him like, fly. We, like, so Woody's style of play with the new style of the way they playing now, I think it fits. Yeah. Uh, I think he can okay. bring that defensive focus to the game, which it needs to be. And as well, letting these guys wide open, let them do what they need to do. And they're shooting 30 plus threes a night. 